Hey babies, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. Now's a good time to go ahead and subscribe. And of course, if you are already a part of Sunflower Gang, welcome back. So today's video is in collaboration with Njula Hair, and I'm actually showing you their kinky straight. Y'all, this texture was really, really beautiful. It actually reminded me of like Tex Lacked hair. It looked like maybe like a kinky curly that could have been a little relaxed or lightly texturized. And then of course, we're gonna go ahead and just kind of customize this. Y'all know, Anytime I get a unit, if I am not going to be wearing it like fresh out of the box and I decide to go ahead and bleach the knots like I have in this video, then I definitely want to make sure that I customize the hairline even further than what the company provides. Of course, you guys got a really quick look at how everything just kind of came as is. And honestly, this looked like it was pre-plucked. So I was really happy about the uh, hairline initially, but y'all know I wanted to take it up a notch because I did not want to do any baby hairs or anything to kind of disguise what the natural hairline looks like so we really wanted to do a detailed pluck and like I said I did go ahead and bleach the knots I actually have a very detailed uh, tutorial on how I actually bleach and also pluck my units out so I'll be sure to just kind of like add a card on this video and also link it down in my description box below but you guys got a quick chance to see how much hair actually came out so y'all I don't know the specific density but this hair is super freaking full so even with me tweezing it out it's still looks really really good and here's a quick look at what i was wearing for the day y'all it was a struggle to get in these pants but that's neither here nor there i'm gonna go ahead and and y'all why i look like i got on a skirt okay let's not even talk about it anywho i'm gonna go ahead and um completely just press this out i wanted to do a silk press at first i was thinking maybe i should do like some long curls in its natural state but i wanted this to be a little bit more wearable in a sense that i had somewhere to go and i did not want to have like a super big just super big hair so i did go ahead and press it out you guys can see everything silking out with no problem i did previously um allow this to just like air dry i didn't do anything special it took about a day and a half for it to be completely dried and then of course i'm just using my fhi fhi two inch flat iron which has been with me since the start of my channel y'all Listen, I love this thing. So um, I'm just double checking my work here. And this is where I decided I wanted to actually add a few layers to it. So I did just kind of briefly trim up the bottom because y'all know I prefer a blunt cut. Um, and then I did go ahead and just apply a little bit of very light holding uh, spray. So I used the frizzies. I'm not sure if you guys are like familiar with it, but I've had this specific <laughs> bottle for probably y'all. It's embarrassing. I don't even want to say how long. Anywho, as you guys can see, it made it really, really nice and easy for me to be able to take the hot comb just to pretty much silk everything back so that it'll make it easier to install. And then, of course, I just cut off the ear tabs. And this is a quick look at what the hair actually looks like and, of course, the inside of the cap. This is a 13 by 4 unit, and so you definitely want to make sure to cut off that lace around the nape area just because you don't need it, and it just, it can be irrit irritating. So, I was deciding whether or not I wanted to use glue. I decided I was going to go ahead and use a true scalp tape um, to actually just mimic, further mimic a cap and also bleach knots. You guys, I just love the way that the hair just flows already. Of course, this has not been previously dyed. It's coming off like almost a jet black, but... But it is a really, really, really dark brown color and it looks amazing. Y'all look at the lace. Okay, mm -hmm. let's get into it. Usually you guys ask me like, girl, where you get your top from? This, well, anytime I wear it, I've worn it quite a lot. Anywho, I've got, <laughs> got this from Pretty Little Thing in case you guys are wondering. And then of course, because this is a 13 by 4 unit, you don't really get that parting space to, of course, go all the way near like the crown of your head. So I decided I wanted to kind of make this a little bit funkier and do a cute little style. And so of course, to install the unit and kind of get it to really lay close and snug to my hairline, I opted out of the glue and I decided to go ahead and use the Bronner Brothers Pump It Up, which is almost light glue. <laughs> <laughs> However, it really, really helps to adhere your uh, lace to your head without making it like overly crunchy and just kind of weird. So you guys can see, I literally cut the lace off. It's blending right into my skin. And then I decided to go over the tops. And y'all, keep in mind, I'm installing this with like 
a sponge. So obviously I did go ahead and dampen my makeup sponge. And of course, this is not my specific technique. This is from Beige Oja. And uh, yeah, so she's been doing that sponge technique with the hairspray and it just makes it a lot easier and less of a mess. Cause y'all know the hairspray usually will like drip down your face. And I'm just not a big fan of glue. I, I just can't do it. So yeah, I'm not gonna say I can't, I just, I'm not feeling it right now, okay? So I did go ahead and uh, just double check everything. You wanna make sure that none of the flaps are coming up. If for any reason they are, definitely make sure to hit it with a blow dryer. If you need to tie this down, do it. I don't actually do this in this video. There was no need. The Pump It Up allowed everything to dry within like 30 seconds super seamless so i did go ahead and just add like a little bump to the end just because i wanted it to look like you know i don't i don't even know that this is like 90s but it's giving a vibe y'all will tell me obviously but yeah it was good it was giving something and so i did go ahead and take my care care wax stick just to act as like a like a very light hold or like a pomade right so i didn't want to use edge control or anything but i did need to be able to sleek this up because i'm going to do kind of like a ponytail with that claw clip you guys know everybody's doing that half up half down but they usually tie down the sides where I decided I just wanted to kind of pull it back I really wanted to show off the detail of the hairline because y'all I was impressed okay and so I did just go ahead and use a rubber band to pull everything back and then I literally y'all in no specific way I just twisted this upon itself kind of got it into a little knot put on the claw clip and that was it I knew that I wanted to leave about six inches maybe four to six inches of like I guess the remaining of that little ponytail out so I was mindful of how much I was winding it up and then of course because I used the little clips to hold it to the side I just used a flat iron to straighten everything out and then of course the hair because the hair was so silky I used a little bit more hairspray just to kind of make it wispy to give it more of that like 90s vibe or is it early 2000s I don't know but anywho I just love this so freaking much of course I got the inspiration off someone on TikTok y'all got me in a chokehold so if you are not following me there definitely be sure to do that because i have a ton of videos specifically dedicated just for tiktok so definitely make sure that you are there and then also follow me on instagram as well and i am very curious to know what you guys think about this i love it y'all it's a 10 out of 10 for me okay <laughs> please leave any comments or questions down below y'all know i love y'all so much stay pretty and i will see you in my next video bye babies